applications of context free grammars see context free grammars were originally conceived by n chomsky for describing natural languages you know very well what do you mean by natural languages whatever we talk each other to understand our feelings that is called natural languages but not all natural languages can be so described two applications of context free grammars describing programming languages there is a mechanical way for turning a context free grammar into a parser describing dtds in xmls see the dtd is nothing but document type definition xml xml means extensible markup language i think you are learning about xmls in this semester there is one subject i think so so in that uh, you will learn clearly i no need to explain about what you mean by xml you know very well about that in this application the parsers let us uh, see about parsers there are components in programming languages which are not regular languages two examples of non regular language structures see balanced structures like parentheses begin end pair if else pair begin and pair and if else pair unbalanced structures like unbalanced if else pairs example a balanced if else pair in c is if condition statement else condition statement see let us take one example by that you can understand a grammar for balanced parentheses g balance g is a grammar one grammar see the grammar is like uh, open parenthesis and bra inside brace there is b comma open brace inside open parenthesis uh, close parenthesis and uh, closed brace comma p comma b see there is a production the production is b tends to b b or half b within the bracket b or epsilon so instead of p you can uh, sorry instead of b you can write uh, any one of uh, these three for example x equal to closed bracket here within the bracket uh, there is a nested bracket means so nested parenthesis see you can write it like uh, separated brackets means a uh, open parenthesis bracket let us take uh, another example a grammar for unbalanced if else pairs s tends to epsilon r ss r is r ises where i equal to if e equal to else the production s tends to is is uh, used to generate unbalanced if with no matching else for example the following is a generated segment of a c program let us take a if condition in this if condition there is a statement and a else statement also there if condition and else statement